Hi guys, today I just wanted to go over some different ways of coloring your newspaper tubes prior to weaving your basket art. Today we have our Mix All Universal Tints. I've mixed the colors black and brown today. And we also have our trusty Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint, also in the colors black and brown, not shown here. All right, we have our newspaper tubes untreated and ready to go, so let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with the Mix All Universal Tints first. This is a really great product because you can add this pigment to all sorts of solvents, be that paint, resin, wood stain, dye, or other oil or water-based solvents. I love the versatility of this pigment because you can really layer it up and get as full or sheer of a coverage as you want. Today I just mixed this tint with some paint and water just to get a look at the typical way this type of pigment is used. You can see the solution is pretty thin and it goes on fairly sheer, just basically washing the tubes with a light stain. As you go over this more times, the intensity does build and with enough layers, it can look entirely opaque if that's the effect that you're going for. It would be noted that most people using a stain of this sort would color their tubes by placing their untreated tubes in some sort of tray of stain and rolling them around in there for a time efficient process that really makes sure there are no spots unstained. But because I'm comparing this finished product against the acrylic paint, I wanted to keep the methodology, if you will, as consistent as possible. So in the same way I did with the Mixol Universal, I painted some untreated tubes with the Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint. You can really see the difference between these two finishes here. The stain, as we saw, left a bit of an uneven coverage and surface tone, which can give that really cool natural textured look. The acrylic paint, on the other hand, looks really smooth and has a much thicker, fuller coverage than the stain. I do personally prefer using an acrylic paint, perhaps just because it's most central in my comfort zone, but I think it's just my preference and the aesthetic I'm going for. On the other side of these tubes, I've just coated them in a quick wash of that stain so we can get a feel for the real difference in the look. So here we have a side-by-side -side view of the three possible looks out of these two products. On the left, the full coverage of the matte acrylic paint. In the middle, we have a couple coats of that Mixel Universal tint stain. And on the right, just a quick wash of color. Hope this video helped you guys in some way, but thanks for watching and good luck with your basketball art. You guys can check out the links to any of the products I mentioned in this video in the description below.